time on Sailing Kitty Wake, we showed you how we remade all of the canvas work on our new Tayana 37 screw up, including the spray hood and stack pack. So we didn't like the stay sail arrangement that was on the boat. It used to have a um, stay sail boom, which went from the bottom of the stay sail right back to the mast and kind of swept over the whole of the front deck area which um, is good if you're doing a lot of tacking because it means you don't have to um, do anything with the stay sail sheets when the um, stay sail tacks. But because we don't tack very much, we decided it wasn't really worth sacrificing all that space and having that big heavy boom swing around on the foredeck. Um, so we're gonna go to a normal um, sheeting arrangement for the stay sail, which is the same as any sort of headsail really. So we need to install a couple of blocks, one on each side of the boat, um, on the top of the cabin and just aft of the mast and they're going to be mounted using these U-bolts and they're going to go through these teak blocks which I made up um, yesterday using the angle grinder um, and that will give us a normal stay sail sheeting arrangement which will go back to the cockpit. So this is what we're aiming for on the other side, this is one I made earlier. I did this um, this morning while Elena was doing some laptop work so you might be wondering why we put it exactly here. Well, I did some research um, and found that the best angle for it to be um, sort of laterally, I suppose, is between eight and 10 degrees. So I figured out using some geometry how far that meant it had to be from the center line of the boat. And then to determine where it is sort of forward and back, we got the stay sail out and held the sheet and pulled it to see where it gave equal tension on the um, leech which is the back of the sail and the foot which is the bottom of the sail and then that determined where it was sort of that way and then we marked that spot and that's how we figured out where to put it. So we've drilled the first hole in the um, top of the cabin. You might be wondering why I didn't just drill through the teak um, block as well but what I found um, on previous things using these U-bolts is that if you're drilling through a long distance, say this teak block which is about 30 mil and the um, top of the cabin which is another 30 mil, then you have to be incredibly accurate to try and get these lined up exactly parallel. So what I'm going to do is drill through the deck first, both holes, and then drill through one hole on the block and then from underneath drill up through both holes and the um, block. That way I'll know that all the holes are well aligned. So I'm going to use this butyl tape to um, seal the fitting. I quite like this stuff, it's a lot less messy to use than Sikaflex. Um, but because these legs aren't really quite long enough, um, I'd like at least another couple of centimetres on there given the depth of the um, cabin top. But because of that I'm just going to squeeze this through against the teak block and then um, I should still be able to get to the legs on the bottom when I put the nuts on on the bottom.
So we're going to go with a um, solar setup. We're basically going to put one really big solar panel on top of here, a rigid one. Um, so it'll be similar to what we had on Kitty Wake in terms of how we get our energy. Um, but it will be a rigid rather than flexible. Um, so I'm going to take down this wind generator. It doesn't really seem to work very well given the output that we're getting from it. And I don't really like them that much anyway because um, they're generally quite noisy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And the wind, the solar panel is coming hopefully tomorrow or the day after. And then we'll be able to put it up. But it's going to be really big and heavy. So I've got to figure out how we're going to get it up there. And the current solar panel doesn't work? No, this one is, is quite small and yeah, at most it seems to put out about half an amp, which isn't anywhere near enough for us. It's really heavy. Heavy? Yeah, really heavy. Good job we're getting it down from the way up there. Yeah. Extra weight, a lot. Maybe it will help our slight lean. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, I'll put on the camera and help you. All done, it's on the dock. Oh. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought the panel was gonna fall into the sea. Batteries arrived, and I just don't have enough muscle to lift them, so I'm not going to break them. I'm going to let Ryan do the job. The old batteries seem to be pretty knackered, they weren't really holding a charge, so we've swapped them, or we're about to swap them with six volt um, golf cart batteries. Um, they're the same brand, Trojan, which is also what we used on Kitty Wake, which seemed really good. So I just need to get them into the battery box here. The old ones were all wired in parallel because they were all 12 volts. And the new ones, because they're 6 volt, some of them will be wired in series and some in parallel. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get them into the battery box here. And they're about the same size, but they're a bit taller. So I might have to do some carpentry work to get them in. <laughs> So they seem to fit okay in this kind of configuration. Um, I've just been blocking them in place with bits of wood to make sure they can't slide around. And now I need to figure out how to wire them up in the series parallel combo. Um, so I might need to spin some of them around and to figure that out, but that's the next step. <laughs> We have a new head sail from Far East Sails. It's kind of a combination 
or hybrid I should say, of a Yankee Genoa. So, um, yeah, quite excited to have a look at it and get it up. Mm. Yeah, it's in a nice bag. Mm. That'll be handy. We don't have any, so. Thanks guys at Far East Sales. Pretty awesome. Oh, nice. <laughs> the first time we touch a new sail. <laughs> yeah, well, we had that cruising shoot. Our oh, first yeah, ever new white sail. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, huh? Yeah. So much detail. Their thread tension's better than ours. <laughs> That's one short thing. So the fit and the shape of it look perfect and I like that it's got plenty of um, telltales. So it's got three and then two and then two sets of telltales and then it's got two um, blue draft stripes as well so it should give us really good indication of how it's set. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, it's so crisp isn't it? Yeah, it makes a lot of noise when, it <laughs> like when you move it and stuff. It's really really fresh. The Genoa that came with the boat was in reasonable condition but it's really really big um, and the boat's got a lot of sail area because it's got obviously the cutter rig so it's got the three sails which are in normal use. So we wanted the stay set, the, sorry, we wanted the Yankee mainly because um, it's easier to handle than the big Genoa. Easier to trim, easier to furl, just easier all round really, which is quite important because most of the time um, we're sailing one or the other person. If we're on like a, a long passage, then one person will normally be down below and the other person sailing, so it needs to be easy to handle the boat. So that's the main reason we wanted it really. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and consider supporting our production on Patreon. Join us next time as we finish off the boat refit projects, installing our new anchor and dinghy, ready for the sailing season ahead.